What's up YouTube, welcome to another Milmer's Xcode tutorial. This is another image view tutorial and this is going to be on collision. If you haven't seen my other image view tutorials, please check them out here. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be creating this and uh, as you can see here's our old project with some modifications uh, and as I click the button if I hit the other image like so it comes up with an alert view and if I click OK nothing happens but if I click reset it will reset and go back to normal again. Um, so that's a useful thing to know if you're trying to make a game or something like that. Um, so without further ado let's go. I'm going to open up my image view project And uh, before I do anything, I'm going to drag in my images here, which I've got on my desktop. So I'm just going to drag them in. Uh, well, I can copy them, that'll be okay. Um, so here's my image in here now, it's just a picture of a field, got it off Google. Um, so there's a lot to do in this tutorial, so I'll try and make it as fast but as kind of easy to follow as possible. Um, so we need one outlet for our image. So if we go into the .h and we're going to create a new outlet. UI image view star and this can be collide collision image there you go that sounds better uh, collision image there you go and now we need a void to check if the image has uh, collided uh, so if we make a void uh, if collide oops if collided like that uh, now copy your void across into the dot m and uh, just go anywhere, doesn't matter where you go, paste that in and open it up. Now in here we're going to do an if statement to check if the image has collided. So if, and then it's going to be cg rects intersect rect like that. And then the rect1 is going to be our first image is frame. So the frame is the outside of the image. Um, whereas here we use dot center, which is the center of the image. Now here we're going to use the frame because we want to use the side of the image. If the side of the image hits the other side of the image, it will um, do something. Um, so in here we're going to type in our image dot center, uh, no, <laughs> dot frame, sorry. You can do center if you want it to collide when it hits the centers instead of the frames, then you can do that as well if you want. Just put center instead. Um, and then it's going to be our, if it hits our collision image. So that's going to be collision, collision image dot frame. Um, so save that. And then go inside the statements. Uh, so this is what's going to happen if the images collide. So I'm going to put a UI alert view in here, like you saw on my example. And um, I've already done UI alert views, so I'll just whiz through this. Uh, if you don't know how to use them, then um, check out my tutorial on my channel. Uh, alert view alloc in it with title and the title can be collided um, you can put anything guys if you're making a game for instance you don't want collided because that will sound weird but I'm just doing it for the tutorial purposes you have collided with dead with another image like that delegate can be self uh, cancel button title can be reset and other button titles can be OK. And comma nil, don't forget the comma nil, otherwise it will crash on you. Um, now we want to show the alert, no alert show, like that. And now we want to release the alert. Rele release, like that. Now we want to go into the actions that we've made here. Uh, so that when you press the button it will call for the if collided just to make sure it checks so in here we're just going to go self if collided and close square bracket here and we'll just copy that now what this code is doing is basically saying every time I press the button check if you've collided um, and that means do this uh, otherwise this method won't be called and it'll just be sitting there just doing nothing um, so now we're going to go into the uh, view controller.nib and we're going to go and set up our image. Uh, so we want to make this one a bit smaller now so it doesn't take up the whole screen. Uh, put it about there. Um, and we also want to add another image view so I'll just copy that um, and put it there and we'll change it to our other one which is mine was .jpg like that. And there's our image and files owner connections collision image 
uh, oops, did that wrong, uh, collision image to collision image, uh, and save. But don't quit it because we're going to come back to it in a minute to work out where these are. Uh, it will all become clear in a minute. Um, so <clears throat> now we're going to set up our reset button for our collision image. Um, so if we go down here, and I've already done how to use this method on another tutorial, so go check that out uh, if you don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but it's going to be a void statement, and it's going to be alert view. We're going to use the cl clicked button at index method. Um, so again, if you haven't already seen that, or you don't know what I'm doing, then um, just go check that out on my channel. Uh, so alert view clicked button at oops at index uh, colon open square bracket ns integer index and open that up now in here we're going to do another if statement and we're going to go if index so the the index basically means which button it is so either if it's button one I mean button zero sorry or button one um, then do something. So we want it to say if they click reset, which is button zero. So if index e equals two, so that's double equals zero, then we're going to go and put our images back to where they were before. Um, so that's going to be image dot center space equals space. Then it's going to be CG point make just like that. And now we need to find out what our image's center is. Uh, so if we go back to Interface Builder and we click on our image here and go to um, Size, we can see that here it tells us where the position is on the screen. But this um, little box over here tells us which part of the image it's telling us where it is. So at the moment it's telling me where the corner of the image is. Now I want to know where the center of the image is. So I'm going to click here in the middle box and it will now tell me where the center of the image is. So it's 159 by 275. So in the X, I'm going to put 159. And in the Y, I'm going to put 279. And a semicolon and save. Now you can also do this for the other image if the other image does move as well. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to do it for that one because that's the only one that's moving. Um, so that should all work, guys. Um, so now we can build and run and see if it works. And uh, again, if I click the button up and up and up and up, and it will eventually collide like that. If I click OK, nothing will happen. If I move again, and as you can see, all the buttons work. So if I click OK, if I click right, it will still collide. If I click up, it will collide. And if I click up again and then go down again, it will collide. But now for the whole point of this, the reset button, and there you go, it will reset. So there you go, guys. There's a quick tutorial on... Uh, image view collision. I uh, hope that wasn't too confusing. hope you understood everything I said. My next tutorial will be on how to move this image around with your finger using touches um, so we can get rid of these buttons because that's a bit annoying. Uh, we'll still be using the collision and then hopefully my tutorial after that is going to be making this image up here move around randomly. So that tutorial should appear here and uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my next video.